Why, guys? What, why do you hate me so much? I don't understand. You've won nine games in the last month. That's pathetic. Is that something that I've said? Yes, mate, you're right. I can't pronounce your names. Get over it and win some friggin' baseball games. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Detroit. It is Season 6, Episode 6 here at the Tigers and today we're going to be facing Houston and we're going to be facing Houston in Houston as everything is going wrong. You will notice we are now 4th in our division. We are 7 games back. We are still in the uh, wildcard spots. Our division is basically uh, the best in, in uh, well certainly in the American League because, uh, what's that, 4 of the top 5 in the wildcard are our division as well. So... It's a tough division that we're in, but we've done horribly. Now, part of why we've done horribly is down to injuries. Uh, you can see here Mike Ruff is out for another two weeks. Uh, he's been out for, I think, two weeks already. And Jackson Job, who we called in uh, to be a starting pitcher for us, he has gone down with an injury as well, which resulted in us going out and making a couple of trades. So the first trade, we gave up Brendan Oliveira. Now, he was a youngster that we hadn't seen. Uh, I don't even know how we got him. Uh, but anyway, he's left, and we have got Gunnar Hogland. Uh, now, he is someone who might be a starting pitcher, might be a bullpen pitcher, but uh, what he is is, uh, is a pitcher. <laughs> so uh, we've got him in. If we have a look at his career to date, we'll actually just go and have a look at his career in the majors to date. He is a solid enough pitch up uh you know last or this sorry this season for the a's has been his best so we'll kind of have to hope that he continues that on for us uh, he's got a little bit of a knock just now neck stiffness so nothing too serious hopefully and uh yeah hopefully he does actually become a decent starting pitcher long reliever for us and the other trade we did regarded uh, sending Garrett Hill off to, uh, I think it was Colorado. I can't remember who this trade was with now. Uh, no, Texas, that is, isn't it? So he has left a uh, 31-year-old. I mean, he is never going to make it. He's, he's played a couple of seasons for Toledo, but was average at best. And we got in uh, Ronsi Contreras. Now, he is on $2.4 million a year, but he's a free agent into this year. So it was sort of, this was a deadline day uh, kind of deal, trying to strengthen us for this, what is supposed to be a postseason push. Uh, he actually is a decent uh, starting pitcher by uh, by all the attribute ratings there. Now, the problem we have potentially is that he's not had a good start with us, and he wasn't having a great year at Texas either. So, yeah, I mean, in a contract year, you'd think he would want to put up good numbers. Uh, he's not doing that so far, but we're not going to judge him for us off of one start. Uh, but we will judge him off the 23 he had at Texas, and uh, he wasn't particularly good there. So hopefully he starts performing more to what his attributes suggest he should be uh, should be performing at. So those are the players that have uh, that have come in. Now let's have a look at how we've been doing. And as I say there, uh, it's not gone well. We have won nine games. We had a massive loss streak to start things off. Now, of course, we already lost the first game against Toronto after the All-Star break. We then got swept by Toronto. Uh, we brought in a new pitching coach. Didn't get off to a great start because we got swept by Minnesota. We then lost the first two against uh, Kansas City. And the runs we were giving up was absolutely ridiculous. Plus, the bats weren't showing up. Then we started to show signs of a comeback because uh, we won the game three of the series against Kansas. We then went to, to uh, what's it called, Cleveland, swept Cleveland, and scoring massive runs in all the games as well, although we gave up six in two of them. Uh, then things started to go bad again because we lost two of three against uh, the White Sox. Uh, we won two of three against Seattle, which is a good result because Seattle's a decent side. Uh, we then got swept in New York by the Yankees. Uh, we then got swept by Oakland at home. And uh, we've gone off to Houston and we've won two in a row. So we're very, very streaky, but we're uh, we're streaking more losses than we are wins, unfortunately, just now. And that is resulting in us uh, falling, as I say, down the division. If we have a look at the overall standings, though, it's not as bad as it potentially looks. We are still third in the All-Star, or joint third with uh, with Seattle in the All-Star, at the All-Star, in the wildcard battle. But we're two games clear. So there's a little bit of wiggle room there. And... Well, we just have we just have to get our act back together again. You know, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, you know, Vega's leading the league in home runs. Vega and Otani are both two of the top three in RBIs. So it's not it's not all doom and gloom, but it certainly feels a little bit like that. Now, if we have a look at our pitches. Now, another change that was made. Uh, we have lost, uh, as I say, Job and and uh, uh, Ruff to injuries. Now, the two players that have come in for them uh, is Wilson has come back in as well. 
So he is, uh, he's not actually a starting pitcher, though. He is, uh, he's in relief. And we've moved Manoa uh, into relief as well. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is that. And the other guy that's come in is Indigo Diaz. We saw him, we traded for him, I think it was last episode. Uh, so we've called him in. He was actually just sitting on waivers. That's why I couldn't find him. So uh, he has come in now as well. So hopefully those guys will work out for us. And, um, yeah, we start not conceding too many. I should say stop conceding too many. Uh, and the bats, there's been no changes. Actually, there has been one change. JP Crawford has come back from injury. And uh, with Garcia has dropped back to AAA, which is maybe a little bit harsh on him, but uh, them's the breaks. But yeah, Vega absolutely flying, uh, as is Otani. They are the sort of the Bash brothers just now, which is excellent. Uh, Green and Lopez both received a four-game suspension for fighting, so that was silly, but we got uh, we got around that okay. Uh, the one disappointment this season continues to be CJ Abrams, even though he is getting better uh, over the course of the season, he has still been quite disappointing to be honest but everybody else is doing absolutely fine and uh yeah that is all very good now the other thing we have to catch you up on is of course the first year player draft so in the first round we went and got Deshaun Coakley now this guy's nickname it was you know, it is a demon so that is a wonderful nickname he's not quite going to be ready to start for us this season but I'm hoping next season I mean he might even we'll call him into a uh, spring training for sure but he might be someone that comes up very, very quickly. At least I'm certainly hoping so. But so potentially is a very, very good starter there. Second round pick was David Villa. I've got to stop drafting guys' names. I can't say. Uh, again, another one that, I mean, he's a, a little bit further away, but a good defensive player and can bat as well, potentially. So, yeah, again, if those if those numbers all come out for us, we're going to have ourselves a very good player very, very soon. He was a second round pick. Third round pick, again, another, there was a really, last year was a disappointing graduating class, I think, but this season was very, very good indeed. Uh, so Michael uh, Mulano, like Mullinax, I'm not quite sure how you say that. Uh, again, very, very good defensive player, but he has a bit of a bat on him as well. So I'm excited to see what he can do. Hopefully he comes through. Again, another one of these guys, two star. When he gets stuck getting to two and a half star, you can do a job in Major League Baseball. So I don't want to rush him, but... Uh, Again, we'll call him into spring training next season at the uh, latest and see how he does. And then our fourth round pick. Now, unfortunately, this guy has gone and uh, torn an interior cruciate ligament. He's a first baseman, and he's a first baseman that can hit. Now, I'm hoping the injuries are going to be too uh, detrimental to his uh, to his career because he was he couldn't run anyway. So he's just got to stand there and whack the crap out of a baseball is the plan. Um We've had to pay a lot of money to get him. He was saying he was impossible to sign. I think he really wanted to go to college, uh, but we've paid him a lot of money to make sure that he, he comes and plays baseball for the Tigers. So, yeah, we'll see what he can do in uh, seasons to come. And then fifth round, this is where it starts to drop away a little bit, but Denny Lu uh, Lujan, I think you would pronounce that. Uh, another one of these guys, he... he could potentially be a, maybe a two-way player. Um, but yeah, a starting pitcher. And he's going to take a little bit more time to come through. Again, he's only 18, so there's no real uh, there's no real rush to get him through. But hopefully, hopefully we get a good starting pitcher here. And the only other guy of note, I think, is uh, Tony uh, Her Herrera. Now, he is defensively an absolute gem. Uh, and in every position, if we look at his ratings, I mean, he is as good a defensive player as there is in baseball. So uh, he will play for us at some point. I don't know if he'll be an everyday player, but certainly as a defensive sub on the bench. I mean, he's he's almost he's almost the perfect defensive player. It's just a real shame uh, that his bat isn't going to be there as well, or else he would be an absolute Hall of Fame certainty. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with him. But he's another one that I think we can be quite excited about. All right, so that's everything I caught up on. Let's go and see the team about to go and uh, face the Astros. All right, so these are the matchups, and they look quite good for us, don't they? It's CJ Abrams leading us off at second. Riley Green bats second in left field. Otani in right field bats third. Vega, the designated hitter, bats uh, four. Kestin Hewer at first base bats five. JP Crawford at third base bats six. Takazawa in center field bats seven. Hunt, the catcher, bats eight. Lopez, the shortstop, bats nine. And it's DeGrom on the mound for us today. You can see he's a shadow of the man he once was. ERA this season of 404. He has a 9 8 record, a whip of 137. He's struggling a little bit. Uh, we're up against Sean Dublin, though, a 3-14 and 14 record for him this season, a 145 whip, and, uh, well, that suggests that uh, he's... That's not that bad for 3-14, is it? Obviously, the Houston bats are struggling, but we know struggling bats tend to uh, find some form against us. 
All right, and here we are at Houston's ground. I forget what it's called. Is it Minute Maid or is that uh, uh, the Miami side? Anyway, uh, we do have uh, CJ Abrams to lead us off, banning a very disappointing 250-odd. Let's see what he can do here. Here he comes, and a strikeout. Excellent start to the game, one away. Riley Green batting 336, which I believe is an American League leading 336, but he's a little bit less than that now as he strikes out as well, bringing Otani to the plate batting 263. It's another 2 2 pitch, and it's another strikeout. Well, that's a disappointingly strong start to the game, isn't it? All right, the Grom to the mound now to face Salas, who is batting 295 this season. It is a 2-1 pitch. And let's see what the great DeGrom can do. And he's given up a hit down the first base line. Otani is there, but he's not going to be able to stop a double. And the leadoff man stands at second. Obviously no one out. And Paredes comes to the plate, batting 231 this season. A 1-2 pitch. And DeGrom gets the pop up into left field, where Green stands underneath it and makes the play that is one away. Jordan Alvarez batting uh, 243 this season. A 1 2 pitch on him. And that is again popped up into center field. Takazawa is there. Runner goes back to second but will not advance. So two out. Bregman to the plate batting 249 this season. A first pitch swing. A ball up the middle. And that might give them a lead. Takazawa stands there, waits for him to round third, and then decides to throw it home. It is 1 0 to the Astros. Bregman finds himself at second as well for Cedric Mullins, who's batting 224. I forgot to show you the new pitching coach, didn't I? It's the guy from AAA. We called him up uh, into the majors, and well, he's not made much of a difference. If anything, we've gotten worse since he came in. So I don't know how to fix this pitching, basically. Vega batting 269, leading the league in home runs and RBIs, and they walk him. And it's Keston Hura now coming up, batting 261. 24 home runs he has as well, and this cannot be the same bat uh, pitcher that struck us out 1 2 3 in the first inning, surely. Two on, no one out now for Crawford. Batting 305 this season. He's got his 1000th career hit since we saw him last, and I tell you what, you give this guy a 2 2 pitch. Go and sit down. He's just going to strike you out. Takazawa now batting 286 comes in. Two on, one out. First pitch swing. Takazawa into center field. Runners again stay where they are. It's two out now for Blake Hunt, who's batting 214. It's a first pitch swing. Come on, Blakey boy, get us a run. That is not going to get us a run. Oh, it's an error. The pitcher has thrown it away, and Blake Hunt does get us a run. Around comes uh, Vega from third. No, yeah, Vega was on third, wasn't he? Hira goes to third, and it's now Jose Lopez with two on two out. He's batting 255 this season. A one two pitch. Jose Lopez strikes out. That ends the top of the second, but an error from the Astros ties the game. Altuve will face the Grom. Altuve batting 257 this season. A 2-0 pitch, and that is into right field. Otani is there, but for the second inning in a row, the Astros start off with a leadoff double. All right, let's see what DeGrom can do here. Brandon Marsh comes in, batting 255. A full count, a ball well hit into center field, and that will give the Astros back the lead. And uh, the runner will stay at second. So a RBI double. And it's just not the same DeGrom, is it? It's Carlos Correa now, batting 276. It's a 2-2 pitch. And it's a ground ball to third base. Crawford has it over to first. That is one away. A reminder, this is the Grom's last year with us. We don't have to pay him his 20-something uh, million after this season. Oh, and that 1-2 pitch hits the catcher, Danny Jansen. That is 2-on-1 out now for Jorge Sal uh, Jose Salas, even, who's 1-for-1 one one today. It's a 3-0 pitch. The Grom issues the walk to load the bases. And it brings in Parades, who is 0-for-1. We would love a double play. Oh, he's going to walk in a run. DeGrom, DeGrom, DeGrom. You are the one player in this pitching staff that hasn't pissed me off yet. And are you about to do it? It is 3-1 now with Alvarez to the plate. He's 0-for-1 today. And I half expected that to leave the stadium, to be honest. But uh, we've got the catch out there in right field. We can't stop the run coming across. 
So it's 4-1 now. Two out runners at the corners for Bregman, who's one for one. A 1-2 one pitch. And that is popped up. Takazawa should be able to make that. But it is not going well. We are 4-1 down. We go into the top of the third. And Abrams will lead us off 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. And Abrams draws a leadoff walk. Riley Green now, who's 0 for 1. A first pitch swing. There goes the runner. And is Green going to get there? He is as well. So two on, no one out. Now for Shohai Otani, representing the tying run, of course. He's 0 for 1 today. Otani into left, uh, right center field. Sorry, that's going to score one. It's going to score to the triple territory, surely. Otani, no, he'll stop at second. And the runner will also stop at third. So we have two on, one out. Uh, two on, none out, sorry. Run across the plate for Vega. An 0-2 pitch. Vega, has he sent that into the stands? No, I don't think so. But it is deep enough, surely, to score Riley Green from third. And Otani will go over to third as well. So, runner at third, run across the plate. One out for Keston Hura, who is 0 for 1. He walked last time up. And Keston Hura! That is huge! It is a two-run home run. He's 25th of the season, 377 feet. And it is 5-4 to the Tigers now. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Neither of these guys can pitch, but it's a hitting display. It is Crawford coming in now. Crawford grounds it to first and will be out. So that is two away. It'll bring in Takazawa now, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Takazawa grounds it to third. And that will be out at first. It'll end the top of the third. But not before four runs cross the plate. It is 5-4 to Grom to face Cedric Mullins, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-1 pitch. It is hit into right field. And Otani cannot get there. This time, though, it's a leadoff single into right field not a double Altuve who is one for one comes in a full count on him a ground ball that could be a double play there's one there's two and are we about to keep the Astros scoreless for the first time this game Marsh now who's one for one it's a 2-1 pitch two out no one on DeGrom gets the pop-up into center field easy catch for Takazawa and that'll do it for the third we go to the top of the fourth with a lead Hunt will lead us off he is 0 for 1 today it's a 1-2 pitch Blake Hunt swings through strike three, one away. Jose Lopez now, who's 0 for 1. Another 1 2 pitch. And this time he slays it away into left field. And it will be a one out single for our shortstop. And it will be Abrams to come back around. He's 0 for 1 today. A 1 2 pitch. There goes the shortstop. And he gets there. Excellent stuff. Not the best stolen base up, or base stealer, I should say. But he's got the second there. Abrams. With a full count, pops it up into left field, and that will be two away. It'll bring up Riley Green, who's one for two. An 0-2 pitch, Riley Green watches strike three, and that'll do it for the top of the fourth. DeGrom to face Correa, who is 0 for one. And that is a ground ball. Lopez has it over to first, one away. Denny Jansen now, who is uh, walked. He got hit the first time around, didn't he? It's an 0-2 pitch. And that is hit into right field, and Otani is there. Two away. In comes Salas again, who's one for one. I think he has a walk as well. It's a 2-1 pitch. It's a ball into deep left field, but we've got Riley Green underneath it, and that'll do it for the fourth. A scoreless inning in this game. What is this witchcraft? Dublin to face Otani now, who's one for two. It's a 1-2 pitch, and Otani grounds it to the second baseman out at first, one away. Tony Vega now, who is 0 for 0. A sack fly and a walk. A 1-0 pitch. Tony Vega grounds it to the shortstop for two away. Bringing up Keston Hura, who of course hit the massive home run into left field last time around. This time around, he strikes out on three pitches. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Still one run to the good. Isaac Parades, who's 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. It's a ball into right field. It should be catchable for Otani. No, it's not. It drops in. How much top spin was on that thing? It looked like he was just camped underneath it. Anyway, a leadoff single. Alvarez now, who's 0 for 1 today. A 2-1. And Alvarez has given them the lead, has he? Yes, he has. And it is now 6-5 to the Astros. 392 feet. And the Grom has given up six runs in four innings. 
And that'll do it as Jimmy Wilson comes on. Now, Jimmy Wilson, you may remember, was struggling. ERA of 720 so far this season. We caught him back in just basically down to injuries and needing a left arm in the bullpen. And uh, a 1-0 pitch there is hit into left field for a single. So still no one out. Runner at first. And Mullins to the plate, who is one for two today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Nicely done by Wilson. There's a strikeout. One away. Altuve now, who's one for two. A 2-1 pitch. Altuve gets under it. Riley Green takes a couple of steps forward. Makes the catch. Two away. Brandon Marsh now, who's one for two. A 1-0. A ground ball. It's a well-hit ball through the infield, actually. And Otani is there. And the runner will be at third. So runners at the corners with two away. A huge bat now for Carlos Correa, who is 0 for 2. It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh, and Wilson comes up big. He gets us out of that. We are one run down going into the sixth. Crawford to lead us off. 0 for 2 today. A full count. And Crawford. It's a little bit too high, that one. In left center field that is caught for one away. It is Takazawa now who's 0 for 2. A 1-2 pitch. Takazawa strikes out. Two away now as Hunt comes in with no one on. Another 2-2 two -two pitch. And Hunt rips it through the left field of the outside of the infield. He has himself a two-out single. And it will be Jose Lopez coming on to face the new man, Zach Plisak. <laughs> uh, ERA just under six so far for him this season. A first pitch swing from our shortstop. And Lopez up the middle. Oh, robbed. Unlucky. So it is still a run down as they go to bat for the sixth time. Denny Jansen, who's 0 for 1. A 0-2 pitch. And Wilson gets himself a second. A third strikeout, is it? I don't know if he had three. But anyway, it's uh, Salas now. 1 for 2. A full count. Can Wilson get himself another strikeout? No. But it should be playable out there in right field for Otani. Back near the warning track. And that is two away. And another new man now, Ron Marinaccio. He's not loved his time on YouTube this season. Uh, I did. It was Flossius, I think, that said to check the FIP of a reliever. I did that, and his FIP is fine. So I don't know what it means, but it was fine. It was like it was as low as the other guys, if not lower. But he gets us out of that one. It is Abrams now in the top of the seventh to lead us off. He is 0 for 2 today. And he will stay over because uh, he strikes out. Green comes in now, one for three, a one-two pitch. And Riley Green strikes out. And we're just starting to run out of inning here, aren't we? It is uh, Otani who's one for three, a full count. And Otani swings at ball four. And we stretch six, five down. All right, Marinaccio will face Alvarez, who hit the uh, the home run last time up. This time he is struck out on three pitches. Nicely done for Marinaccio. Bregman now, who is two for three. It's a 2-1 pitch. He grounds it to Lopez. Over to first. That is two away. And it is Cedric Mullins now, who is one for three. A first pitch swing. And that is into deep left field. We've got Green there. Green makes the catch. And we go to the top of the eighth, still 6-5 down. It is Vega to lead us off. He is 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. And Vega gets under 1, but it hasn't got the legs. It will be caught in left center field for 1 away. Keston Hura now, who is 1 for 2. That 1, of course, was a home run. He has a full count and grounds at the 3rd. So out, uh, running away from us here. Crawford, who's 0 for 3. We really need him on base here. It's a 2-1 pitch. Crawford grounds at the first base. And we will go to the ninth, needing at least a run. With our bottom three batters up to bat. It's not looking good, is it? Marinaccio will face Altuve, who is 1 for 3. It goes without saying we cannot afford any more runs this inning. And Altuve gets under 1 for Takazawa. And he will make the catch for 1 away. Brandon Marsh, who is two for three today. A one-two pitch on him. And that is well hit into center field. But Takazawa is there and makes a wonderful catch. Carlos Correa now, who's 0 for three. It is a 2-0 pitch. No one on. Two out. And that is popped up. And Otani charging in. Makes the catch. And we'll go and bat in the ninth, needing at least a run. And it will be Takazawa to face Cedric Franco for them. ERA of 429 so far this season. 
Takazawa over three today. It's a full count. Can he get himself on base? Come on, Kyoto. We need a base runner, man. Oh, he strikes out. And was it ball four as well? It is Oriol Vera coming in now. Now, he is the guy that we uh, traded for. He's in a bit of a slump, but he is batting 255 this season. It's a 2-1 pitch. Vera grounds at the shortstop. Uh, we're down to our final out. It is Lopez coming up again. He is one for three today. It's a 1-2 pitch. And he doesn't even swing the bat. Oh, we are a terrible side. I mean, there was a time when a DeGrom start meant a win, wasn't it? But uh, he is now 9-9 nine and nine this season, and uh, his more recent starts, uh, there's more losses there than wins. So, yeah, we're seeing the very back of DeGrom's career, and he is, he is hanging on, isn't he? And he's not hanging on with any grace. So, it's another loss. It's a shame. We were going for a sweep of the series, so it's not disastrous. But these pitching numbers, I mean, look at the bats. The bats are so good this year, and the pitching... 15th for uh, runs against, 13th for starters ERA, 9th for bullpen ERA, which isn't bad. FIP is 15th. Pitching war is 12th. I mean, there's nothing inside the top 10 there outside of bullpen ERA. It's just such a shame because the bats are on fire this season. So, yeah, uh, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? The new pitching coach, I should show you. Uh, if you have any suggestions as to how we fix things, I'm all ears. I mean, his ERA has been almost six since he came in. So he's definitely made us worse, which is annoying. But, um, yeah, there we go. I mean, he did well at Toledo. I don't understand what's going wrong with our pitchers. But anyway, we'll be back next time. We might come back towards the end of the month for uh, this series here against Tampa. Or do we want to come back over the page? for? We'll come back for the Twins. They're in our division. Uh, we've basically finished with our division. And then uh, the last week, we've got Seattle and, and New York. So we'll have a good idea, I think, after this series, where our season's going, if we're still alive or if it's another one that just fades away to nothing. But if you have any suggestions as to what I can do to fix the pitching, um, I am all ears, but I, because I just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. It should be good, but, or not good, but it should be decent and it's poor. Take care.